Are you hopeful? Do you have hope? This is Philip Montrose, my wife and partner, Jane and I, we help people step up and tap into the heart of success with holistic coaching and healing. And in this short video, which may be an important one for you, I'm talking about hope, ways to have hope, what it is. And uh, if you don't have hope, you eventually have your, your worn down, you become weary, life drains out of you, you become ultimately hopeless. Uh, so hope is a very important quality. Uh, here's, a, here's a definition from Wikipedia. Uh, hope is an optimistic state of mind that is based on an expectation of positive outcomes to events and circumstances in one's life or the world at large. So I'm not talking about the hope against hope uh, when everything is, is lost, the Hail Mary. I'm talking about a really positive, assertive, clear hope. Um, because if you have hope, much more is possible. Today, filled with hope, is going to be a better tomorrow. You want to inject hope now, so where you're going tomorrow will be a better affair, a better life. Because um, if you uh, don't have hope, if you just think things are going to be uh, dubious, doubtful, dismal, pessimistic, uh, that's apathetic. That's not a good, uh, a, a good substitute for being hopeful. <laughs> <laughs> and so you want to be genuinely, uh, realistically, optimistically hopeful. And I want you to consider two things to understand hope here to begin with. One is, um, uh, do you expect to have hope? And I just began to address that, having genuine expectancy. And two, uh, the areas of hope. Uh, what areas are you hopeful in? What areas may be not so hopeful? So as I mentioned, expectancy is, is really expecting that something good is going to happen to you, being genuine, authentic about it, uh, not hedging your bets or really being fearful or doubtful about it. And uh, the areas of hope, realize some areas you might want are very hopeful. You might be very hopeful about your health, say, and you want to continue that hope. But other areas, maybe relationships, finances, you're not so hopeful. Uh, so you want to inject, find hope in those areas. So be aware of that as well. So let's uh, suggest here three ways to become more hopeful. One is overcome obstacles. Uh, start to become an overcomer. See yourself as an overcomer. Uh, life is a messy affair. Things will, quote, always go wrong, always mess up. And yet that's an opportunity, right? Uh, and find ways to be an overcomer, have self-efficacy, have agency. Uh, realize that you can take control. We like to do holistic EFT as a healing intervention, the tapping technique, and we use um, our reset process too. We reset our body. Um, and spiritual kinesiology, a healing from the soul technique. Uh, those are wonderful ways to become an overcomer. And if you know that, you're going to have a lot of hope dealing with what comes your way. Uh, second suggestion here, there's actually going to be four suggestions. I mentioned three. There's actually four coming up. Two more. So number two is use your epigenetics. Epigenetics is a relatively new science field, you may know. It's kind of that nature versus nurture. People used to think everything was genetically predetermined, like your height and your eye color um, and your hair color, all those can be modified uh, influence. But uh, it, it's been found out that much of life can be influenced. Much of what is going to happen to you is not set at all, as you may know. The genes can turn on or off. What turns them on, <laughs> what turns me on, is my lifestyle. Uh, am I exercising? Am I stretching? Is my diet good? Am I getting sunlight reg regularly? Am I getting enough rest? Those lifestyle medicine uh, approaches. And your thoughts and feelings. And that helps you become an overcomer. Uh, number one tip to be more hopeful. Um, what am I thinking? What am I feeling? Uh, you can use that to open up your whole life in the nurturing part of the nature and nurture equation. Third way to be more hopeful. Uh, ask yourself, consider what is possible. Important question. What is possible? When we're limited, fixed in a very narrow range, a low set point, not much is possible. Uh, 
uh, you feel stuck. You, you feel like life is limited. You can easily become deflated and despairing in life of quiet desperation, as Thoreau said. It need not be that way, because much more is possible. This moment is different than the last moment. You don't know what's going to happen uh, tomorrow, much less uh, the next few minutes. Hopefully you'll complete this video, which is getting close to completion, but you really don't know what's gonna happen. So if you're open to good things happening, you're gonna be hopeful. Ask yourself the question, what is possible? Or what else is possible? Or what more is possible? And the fourth way to be more hopeful, the final way here, is to find, use resources. Find and use resources. Resources inwardly is using your mind, your feelings, your images, what can you draw on uh, inside intuitively in your mind, the different parts of your, the networks of your mind, as they say in left and right brain and the different fields of networks, your imaginal mind, your focusing mind, your executive mind, all those things can help open your heart, which is perhaps the ultimate key uh, to take charge of your life, to find the resources, to be more hopeful. And outwardly, there are people, there are places, there are podcasts, uh, there are books, there are things you can turn to, keep learning, be a lifelong learner. Get those resources and you will be more hopeful. So a quick hope exercise is find an image for hope. It could be a sun, it could be a mountaintop, it could be a wonderful cloud, a ray of light, a special color or a shape, a horizon. Whatever that image, that image of hope, that beacon, uh, find that. And you can use different ones at different times, but find one now and bring that into the present. Carry that with you. Carry it in your heart, in your being, that image of the sun or the horizon or the rays of light or the wonderful ocean waves or whatever it is for you of hope. So. To end, to review, we have uh, four, uh, four ways uh, to boost hope, uh, become an overcomer, uh, use epigenetics, uh, know what is possible, consider what is possible, and four, find the resources. And with that, you're going to be a lot more hopeful. Life is going to be a lot more wonderful. You're going to be more creative, more on track uh, to helping yourself and others with more hope. 